Starting off with beer first, and then we're gonna see the Georges. some reason this uh, video doesn't have audio i'm not sure if it's a copyright reasons but you see here georgie is doing some work jabs and the guy jabs him back uh and he lands on georgie and he's a, he's trying to take him down here and georgie is good with the clinch and then he's also oh, good jab there as well and george is holding him off right his underhooks he's pounding one back of the head maybe i don't know okay so the guy takes him down and then he's on top of him and then uh georgie gets back up gets taken down again but the beautiful thing about Georgie is he always gets back up. He gets his back up here again. And then homeboy, let's see, it takes him down again. God dang it. And Georgie almost sweeps him here, but then he now the guy's on top and starts pounding. Dude, I will. Okay, never mind. All right, so he's doing more ground and pound. Georgie gets back up again. Look at this. And he grabs Georgie's ass for some reason. Georgie's about to go for a guillotine, sort of. The guy takes him down. And, uh. You can see here he's doing more ground and pound, which, dude, I will fucking, I wonder, I, dude, I would, no, I'm not going to say it. All right, so he looks like he's going for a choke. He grabs his ass again. What the fuck? All right, now he's going for a guillotine, and Georgie, oh, Georgie goes for a single leg, and then he gets, oh, caught in the guillotine here. The guy wraps his legs around Georgie, and then, yeah, there's a tap. But I'm thinking right, okay. Now, okay, it's cool. He seems like he's a good guy. Give him respect. So I don't, you know, I don't hate him that much. But sometimes I think, man, should I go in there and freaking get revenge for Georgie? Hmm? And this is George Dulcich's fight. I don't have to do voiceover anymore because we have audio for this. George Dulcich. Good morning. 
It's been a while since I've done this. I'm heading over to the studio right now for one reason and one reason only, to meet up with uh, John Anik. He's gonna do uh, Food Truck Diaries with Brendan. So this will be the first time I meet him in person. Love the guy, uh, been friends with him on Instagram for a long time now, but it'd be cool to see him in person. All right, see you guys there. Case with the cams. It's what I do. Mm -hmm. Louie with the audio. <laughs> All strapped up. Strapped up. <laughs> this is a bucket list. What's up, man? What up, dude? Good, Good to see you, man. How are you? Great, man. How are you? Thank you guys. What's up? What's up? I'm Casey. Nice to meet you. Ready? Mr. John Haddock. Long time coming, brother. It's so great to be out here. We've been planning this for a couple of years. Finally, in the belly of the East Calabas. It's going to be good to see you, man. You're looking pretty fly. Well, thank you, buddy. I, uh, I dressed up for you. Black is pretty slimming, so I figured I would wear black head to toe. We got the one more sleep on the Mark Russell bomber. Oh, jacket. wow. <laughs> like, I don't eat fucking baked goods on the road. But, like, if I'm home, like, we have things that my kid, like, I got blueberry muffins. Oh, we so have kids. So. Well, uh, let's let me feed you these bagels. I don't get too forced. Right. But when Jan Bohovic broke through, you know, Poland, your guy, got it done. It's seven words that I think will withstand the test of time. I, I know what the fuck I was going to say, but Agreed. sometimes less is more. You know, Agreed. even saying like fourth round TKO, if you inflect the right way, can be powerful. Yeah, and then one more sleep. Speaking of which, <laughs> Brazil designs are out. This is a double XL. Oh, I think really? this is our best design with the Brazilian flag. Underneath, I think this is and the best and design. Some Brazilian ties by Brazilian ties. One so, more sleep. Uh, I had a good sleep in Brazil when Nogueira knocked me out, so this is offensive, but I appreciate huh. the shirt. There you go. They want him to turn around in seven it's weeks, and it's just not realistic. It's one thing to turn down Hamzat Shimaev when you're getting what amounts to a full training camp. Right. It's another thing when the circumstances intervene. So I don't think Bilal turned down Hamzat if he was offered that fight in a full training camp. Like, no fucking way. I actually think Bilal, as far as stylistically, Poses the most issues for yeah. All right, so that's a wrap. It was an awesome day. Uh, I didn't film much because I don't want to like make it seem weird. I just wanted to go there to to actually meet John for the first time in real life because he's super cool to me on Instagram, I guess. Uh, and he was obviously super cool when I met him. Uh, we talked for a while after the show, and he's yeah, he's just he can, as you can imagine, he's just a super cool, laid back, awesome dude. But when it comes to like being professional on the on the broadcast he's just laser laser focused you know he's he's just amazing at what he does i wish i could talk like him he's so good at talking that's the one thing that i envy about him the most so anyways it was really cool to meet him and talk to him especially about like we're talking about a bunch of mma stuff that's going on not actual fights but just the whole all the crazy stuff that's going on in mma um you know the really sad stuff the hard stuff all that stuff it was uh yeah it was a really cool talk and he's as awesome as you could ever imagine him to be. So yeah, anyways, heading home now and I will either see you there or see you at a Lakers game because I'm going to a Lakers game tonight. I'm going to a freaking Lakers game. A delay of game called against Dallas. LeBron James, two shots.
first basketball game this up close in the semester. What's up guys, it's George Harris. Just finished my first fight. Didn't go the way I wanted to, but goddamn am I proud. My team, they were there for me every step of the way. Thank God for them. I'd like to give a special thank you to Brendan Schaub and Rich. Without them, I wouldn't have made any of the friends I have in LA. And I, you know, I don't know. I'm just so, I'm so thankful. Thank you guys. George, tell us, tell us about the walkout. Tell us how you feel, like this, this experience. You know, tell us about the walkout. My walkout, for one, my walkout song was hitting. It, it was sounding good through the system. That little part came, the boom, boom, boom. I was like, okay. And, you know, I, I'm a Chicago boy. I had to pick a Chicago rapper. Made me feel at home a little bit. It was pretty surreal. Pretty surreal. Are you going to keep training? or you know, I'm 100% going to keep training at Burbank Legacy. I would like to look into getting skin surgery from my excess skin for my weight loss. Uh, I've been putting it back a little bit because of this fight program and everything. But I would like to start looking into that a little bit more. And then after that, I would love to, if my training's going good and I'm confident, I'd love to come back. Your message to all the people that have supported you, all the people online, all your friends, family, back home. Everyone that has been here for any part of my journey, whether it was two years ago, one year ago, one day ago, I don't care. If you were there for me, I appreciate you eternally. You have given me more confidence than I could ever give myself. And for that, I really do thank you guys. Love you, Rich. Everybody.